Now, today we will talk about Lesson 133 in the workbook, I Will Not Value What is Valueless. Uh, actually, we won't be talking about that lesson that specifically, but more that idea that I will not value what is valueless. Uh, in that lesson, uh, Jesus says that there's one sure criterion that, that we can employ that will help us realize or, or distinguish between the valuelessness and the value of anything, and that is if it lasts forever. Uh, and of course, uh, but last forever would be God, would be our reality as Christ, would be love, would be truth, etc. Uh, that's not a very practical way to live because nothing in this world lasts forever. But there is a right-minded way of looking at, at this world, and that becomes the reflection of the love that lasts forever. So on a, on a practical everyday basis, what is valuable is to learn my daily lessons of, of forgiveness to recognize that, that my, my feelings of anger, my feelings of being unfairly treated are never justified, <clears throat> that, that all the specialness that I uh, aspire to, that I feel would meet all of my needs, uh, will fail. Uh, as the text says near the end in the, the real alternative section, all the roads in this world lead to death. Uh, and that's why there should be nothing here that I value. Everything here is valueless. Everything of the ego thought system is valueless because it keeps me in a state in which I am separated from my creator and source. And what could be valuable in such a state? The only value is anything that will lead me back to remembering who I am and remembering the love that created me as itself, as the workbook says. So as I go through my day, what I value is not something in the world being good or bad. What I value is the opportunity that every situation, every event, every occurrence, every relationship in my life has the inherent value of teaching me the lesson that, as the workbook says, the world I see holds nothing that I want. And what I do want is the peace of God. And the only way I can achieve that peace, which really means the only way that I can remember that I am that peace, is to return to my mind so I could choose again the right-minded thought system of the Holy Spirit, which is the thought system of peace, rather than the wrong-minded thought system of the ego, which is conflict and pain, suffering, and attack. What leads me back to my mind is to choose the pathway of the miracle. And the miracle, in A Course in Miracles, is the process that, that helps us realize, as the beginning of chapter 21 says, that the world I see is an outside picture of an inward condition. That what it is I'm experiencing in relationship to you, whoever the, the you is, or to what a, a situation is, or an object is, whatever I'm experiencing is a projection of a decision my mind has made. And if, and if my mind has chosen for the ego and its thought system of separation and differentiation and attack, then everything I experience in the world will be seen through that lens which means anything I believe is different from something else insofar as it can give me what I want. It can give me the happiness, the joy, the pleasure, the peace that I want, or it would deprive me of that, i.e. lead to pain. Anything that I believe is out there that can do this is valueless. That, that belief that there's something out there that can give me pleasure or pain is valueless, let alone the specific objects. How can what doesn't exist, and the Course repeatedly tells us that the world external to us does not exist, how could what doesn't exist have a value? The value lies in the purpose that we give it. And here, as Hamlet said, here lies the rub. What, it's the purpose my mind describes to what goes on in the world. My relationships with, with people, with animals, with vegetables, with food, with objects, circumstances, values, causes, etc. It's, it's the purpose my mind ascribes to it that is either valuable or valueless. And if I choose to see everything in this world as a holy encounter, because it, it enables me to, to follow Jesus as he leads me from the world, from the outside picture to the inward condition, which is my, the power of my mind to choose, either to choose him as my teacher or the ego as my teacher, anything that does that will, will lead me to my mind, and that's the value. And by choosing that value, I am choosing the reflection of what will be forever which again gets us back to what Lesson 133 says. Right? What is truly valuable is what lasts forever, that doesn't change. Right? And in this world, what doesn't change are all the learning opportunities. Lesson 193 tells us all things are lessons God would have me learn. Right? And these lessons are all the opportunities for me to bring my perception and my awareness and my experience from the world back within to my mind. I am not responsible for the world around me. I am responsible for how I perceive the world around me. 
And if I believe, once again, anything outside of me can give me pleasure or pain, I am making the error real, and I'm making the world inherently valueless. And I'm, I'm making my interaction with that world inherently valueless. But if I see everything once more, once again, as an opportunity to lead me back to my mind so I can choose again, that's the value. And that's the value that will lead me back to the ultimate value, which is my identity as Christ. Mm-hmm.